Hello guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone. Hello guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. If you're not familiar with the format, what I'm doing here is taking bits of legendary songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. The good thing is you get to choose what I'm covering next, just put it down in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, if you can consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, that would be amazing. Thank you so much in advance. And without further ado, let's start with today's song, which is Symbolic by Death. Death and Chuck Schuldiner as a person have done more for metal than most people can claim to. There was Tommy Iommi and then Chuck. They did so much for metal in terms of, of songwriting, of course, of guitar playing, of sounds. It was only fair that I, I was going to get to uh, to one of their songs. And some someone, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't write down the name, recommended symbolic which is one of the most iconic riffs ever and this is what i'm doing today chuck was a very famous user of bc rich guitars now we just started stocking them again the brand new versions unfortunately they kind of went like crazy and the ones that i were like most interested in uh, were not available but we did just receive some of these gorgeous epiphone prophecies. It's not the right guitar, but it's a fairly high output Fishman Fluence pickup into a, a guitar that kind of looks the part still. So I'm going to be using that and I'm going to be in the bridge position. And because there's not much going on in between the guitar and the amp, I'm just going to go straight into our amp and pedal setup. Chuck Schuldiner was playing a Marshall valve state as far as I could find out and that was the core of his sound. I've seen some pedals in and out but to be fair I couldn't figure out what exactly was used on that album except for the valve state. Now unfortunately these have been discontinued by Marshall so we don't stock them and I decided to use the next best thing which is my Marshall JCM 800 lead series. It's got drastically less gain than the valve state could have had. It's obviously a full tube amp and not a hybrid but that said I think with some help from pedals it's going to get there. The controls will be on your screen of course as soon as the mics are off and I'm going to be using the right side of the JHS double barrel Tube Screamer, again, controls somewhere around my face. <laughs> yeah, basically having that pedal into the amp is gonna take us to that sound. I tried to dial it in as close as possible to that sound that he has, which is not super gainy, but so gritty and present in the low end, like very, like it's a chunky sound. So enjoyable. So I think I got pretty close. Then again, if you go on the, like the used market, you might have a shot at finding a valve state by Marshall, which is the thing, like that's the unit you sold, get that. But you know, I think that's coming pretty close. So I'm gonna stick with that and we're gonna have a look at the last section of that video, which is as usual, the most important and is how to play the riff. As per usual, before we get started, please have a look in the description box down below. You will find a link to everything that I'm using today, a bunch of other recommendations that could work for the part and another link to the tabs for the song if you need to spend some more time learning it. But for all of you visual learners, let's get started. You need to know that your guitar has to be tuned in D standard. It's not a drop tuning. It's basically taking all of your strings a full step down, but standard. Yeah, we're gonna start with our fretting hand. I'm not gonna lie, it's super simple. 
It's a dead simple riff, it's power chord positions, a single note, but you definitely have to have that intensity that's really entangled with the tempo and your vibrato on that single note. It needs to be exactly at the right time because it's an odd time signature as well. That makes things a little bit more complicated, but I'm sure you'll get there in no time. Not a particularly complicated riff, but definitely one of the most powerful riffs in metal, in my opinion. But with that said, let's have a look at the picking side of it. <laughs> And with all of that, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Symbolic by death. Now obviously Chuck passed away from cancer 19, 18, 19 years ago now I think, 2001. And even more so for that reason, I really hope that I did the song some sort of justice and that you guys maybe learned something, maybe discovered the band through that video. And if so, if one of you has discovered death through that, I, I'm, happy. I've done my job. I'm out. But yeah, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, if so, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on the next episodes because they very well could be your song. Just let me know in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as I can. I wish you guys a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone.